It was around 30 degrees when people gathered in Marion County earlier this afternoon where the ceremony was held for the Farmington mine disaster. Heather Hale was there and has more. A ceremony was held at the Farmington Mine Memorial on Sunday, November 20th, on the anniversary of the mine disaster that took place in 1968. An explosion tore through the Consolidation Coal Company's number no. nine mine, which claimed the lives of 78 of the 99 miners working at the time of the blast. The service was held to remember the lives lost on that day. Many people who lost their loved ones attend the memorial service each year. Cindy Stoller lost her dad in the mine explosion when she was four years old. In the past, she and her 16 siblings and their kids would attend the ceremony together. Uh, we keep his legacy alive. This way we tell them the story before we came today. I had sat them down and I told them the story. And so we keep that alive. I heard someone mention today that, um, you know, these men were heroes. And um, the women were heroes also after they had passed because my mom, who uh, had 17 children and was not political a day in her life, boarded a bus and went to Washington and fought for the changes that they spoke of here today. Many who spoke at the memorial said that this disaster is the reason the miners today have a better life. When the, when the Farmington Number 9 disaster happened, what it triggered was, was that and President Roberts said it best, you know, people saw, you know, smoke billowing out and they really understood the loss of life. And through that came the regulations that, that we have, you know, are still using, the laws that we still have in place today. Towards the conclusion of the service, they read the names of the 78 miners who died that day in 1968 and held a moment of silence for them. Reporting in Farmington, I'm Heather Hale for 12 News.